Hey guys, this is Heli Rise, and this is a first impression video on the new game Battlefield Hardline. And let's jump right in. So, when I when I first joined the when I first got the game, I was really really impressed, and I still am. And this game is probably the funnest Battlefield game I've played. And one of the reasons is there's no there's no like in Battlefield Four. When people had the the mortars, that was I didn't like that at all. And now that they've now that they've got them out of the game, I'm liking playing Battlefield a lot better. And and when those were in the game in Battlefield 4, so most of the time the game wasn't enjoyable because I was getting killed constantly by those. And one re one reason I don't like them is because in Battlefield 4 you can you can just put it out in the open and then and then you can you can just shoot people and you don't even have to be in their sight. That's the one reason I really hated mortars and especially the other thing is that SUAVs, the small UAVs, people could just crash those right into you and they and they could just just wreck you and you don't even know where it came from that's the other gadget that really makes a lot of people mad when they get killed by so that's a really good reason it's not in the game anymore okay so the main thing about battlefield hardline is it's cops and criminals so there's no tanks there's no there's no stuff like that and the cop and criminals aspect about it I really like it and the thing about the cops and criminals that I really like is their the weapons there's no there's no really mili militaristic weapons in here there's just guns pistols explosives and and other stuff like that some of the gap most of the gadgets I really like and most of the guns I really like my favorite gun is the M416 of course because it's a really really big powerhouse of a weapon and it's really close by the M M16A3 and that's also a very good gun and when you compare both of them there's not a lot of differences one thing I don't like about the game is the fact that that uh, the the RPGs can take out any vehicle in one shot, and that seems a little overpowered. And later in the game, about probably th around three months, everyone will have the ability to have a rocket launcher in the back of their car. So it's going to be really chaotic, and rockets are going to be flying everywhere. Um, but most of the game, I really really like. And most of the of the game modes I like, and one of the game modes that I really like is Blood Money, and that's what I'm playing currently. And and the objective of Blood Money is you take you take money from the cash pile, or you can go take it from the um, enemy pi cash pile, and one and and whoever gets the most, I mean. Whoever gets the amount of cash, the amount of cash you can get, or gets the most cash when the round is over, then they win. And another now, one of my other favorite game modes is Hotwire, and that's what I'm currently playing right now. The objective of Hotwire is pretty much conquest, but the flags are cars, and the faster you go, the more points you generate. And once you get the speed at the speed limit. You've captured that point, and you try to, and you try to um, get as most points as you can, and drain your enemy's tickets down. Sorry. Now, one thing that I'm not sure of, but I know for people that played it before, is the campaign. And most of the people that I've talked to and that play the game say the campaign's not the best campaign that Dice has created. And it's boring at some parts, 
and it's just not it's not as realistic as people thought it was going to be um say like i guess when you get closer to the end the cop that pretty much i would think has no experience he's he's in an ac-130 gunship that's on the ground and he is and then he's in a tank and i would think a police officer would have no experience with a tank or an ac-130 another current thing that i don't like a lot about hardline is its weapon balance system and its weapon balance system is pretty bad now for instance one of the best guns in the game the k-10 surely a lot of you guys know that it is considered overpowered by a lot of people S something like the m45 compared to it it is way better than it you wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't come over a instance where you want to use the m45 over the k-10 because of k the k-10 having a 120,000 rounds per minute and it's very very good in close quarters i think it's 34 damage in close quarters at high and the only thing about the k-10 that is bad is it drops off to 12 damage i think after 15 or 20 meters away that's probably the only bad thing about the k-10 and oh the, one of the other bad things about not very bad but you know uh it's got a considerable um recoil and that doesn't really do a lot of stuff in close quarters because most of the time you're either aiming down your sight and you're killing the guy so fast or you're hip firing and the hip fire does or the recoil doesn't really matter. Now another thing that I like about Hardline is the class balance. I think I think uh, Dice did a very good job with their class balance and the why I say that is because their class balance, most of them are very balanced. Like, even though the operator class has, which is the one with the assault rifles and the med pack, most people just want to go with that. But I think, I think most of the classes are pretty balanced. Every class has good gadgets, and most of them have every. Everyone has a good gun in it, and that's that's what I like about the cla the class balance. Now one thing that a lot of people are mad or mad about is the fact that you have to get, if there's a weapon like the M16, there's a fact that you have to get 1,250 kills to use it on the other side. So say like you want to use the M416 on the cops and, it, and it's on the robber side, you'll have to get 1,250 kills to unlock that gun for the cops side. And so for the K-10, which is on the cop side, you have to get 2,000, 1,250 kills with that K-10 to get, to get it for the robber side. So this is my, this is Helly Rise, and this is my game review on Battlefield.